Mary McCartney's portraits comprise a who's who of the celebrity world. But for all the glitz and glamour of her subjects, here they are seen in an unusually modest frame. My family background is a benefit in that instance because I think people know that I'm not going to exploit them and so there's an, you know, if you haven't got my background that you would, you can get, as a photographer, you can still make someone comfortable, but it saves time. It's like that I think that they know that I'm not there to sort of get, exploit them and that there's a, a sort of understanding and a more relaxed start to a shoot generally. Mary McCartney prepares for an exhibition in London. Despite her A-list background, the photographer and mother of three children has remained a down-to-earth type of person. Mary is the first child of Paul and Linda McCartney. She developed an interest in cameras while helping her mother, herself a photographer, after school. She began experimenting, although initially she had no clear goal. I kind of thought everyone could take photographs and be a photographer and everyone wants to be a photographer so I never um, pursued that as a career until I was looking through a close friend of mine. She hates it when I tell this story but I was looking through her holiday snaps and they were so bad. She'd like chop people's heads off or you know they were just she was miles away from her subject and I was like could you not walk a few steps away and then in the end I thought actually not everyone can take a photograph and um, from there I kind of put a portfolio together and started to get sort of magazine commissions and it grew from there. Her professional career took off in 1995. She now enjoys success both in commercial and artistic circles. She's now published her first book of her own work. The choice of title is apt, From Where I Stand. This collection is a personal look at my photo archive over the last 15 years. So I've spent a lot of time going through all of the contact sheets and quite strictly editing pictures that are just personal or show a different standpoint that relates to me. So things that I'm interested in, like the unexpected moments that happened or things that tell a bit of a story. One of the works she's most proud of is a series of pictures taken behind the scenes at the Royal Opera in London. The result was a frank portrayal of the dancers at work and at play. Her unobtrusive approach allowed her to take her remarkably candid shots. And this is basically in a fire escape, having a cigarette in the intermission. Um, he kind of carried on as if I wasn't there, so he's not performing for me, he's doing what he would do, you know, it's a real moment. But it's still something kind of pretty that I would want to... I suppose I'm quite feminine about my approach and that I still want to capture something real, but I want to capture something that I would want to put on my wall as well. The launch of Mary McCartney's book a few days ago was a massive media event. London's famous National Portrait Gallery is dedicating a special exhibition based on the collection of images featured. There are countless portraits of famous celebrities, but in unaccustomed and unpretentious poses. Perhaps also because they can connect with her. This is sort of a picture you could only take if you knew the people very well. Um, it's, most photographers sort of have to uh, be introduced to people and, and build up a relationship, whereas she's been uh, living in the, in the same world as a lot of her sitters, uh, and they trust her and so on, and, and know who she is and, and what her backstory is. I won't get into situations just because of my name. People have to believe in my ability as a photographer. I think people maybe for a few moments are more interested because they hear the McCartney name, and it's such an iconic name, because obviously because of my dad, but... I think then it kind of dissipates and it doesn't, it doesn't stay as a big part of my photography. Mary McCartney, an artist and high-profile personality in her own right, and with talents at her disposal that success looks set to foster. <laughs>